So now we're going to start off our Pangyo Techno Valley weekly briefing. And the first issue is related to Kakao. Kakao Entertainment has acquired the North American platforms Tapas and Radish. This implies that Kakao Entertainment has entered the overseas market to accelerate its growth and enter the North American content market. Tapas acquired by Kakao Entertainment is North America's first webtoon platform established in San Francisco in 2012. Kakao Entertainment began servicing its major IPs like Office Dating, Space Sweepers, The Uncanny Counter, and Navelera there to enter the North American market. Radish is a mobile-specific English novel content platform established in New York in 2016. Since 2019, Radish has been making hits with its own content, Radish Original, based on the group creation system. It's unveiled a competitive advantage having 90% of the entire revenue coming from the original IP. Lee Jin Su, CEO of Kakao Entertainment, said Kakao Entertainment has once again made a step closer to becoming a global content company by acquiring Tapas and Radish and will go once more into its expansion of the global platform network. We are expecting to play a key role in leading the global entertainment business. Now for the next story, we're going to move on to Beat Corporation commercializing Beatbox to offer coffee served by robots. The unmanned smart store where you can quickly and conveniently purchase food and beverages like coffee and salads and other various household goods 24 hours a day without a cash register is emerging as something of an everyday kind of thing. Food tech startup B Corporation has opened its first Beatbox smart store, the Pangyo Techno Valley branch in Pangyo Techno Valley and started commercializing this autonomous retail platform. Beatbox Pangyo Techno Valley branch is located in the center of the IT hub Pangyo Techno Valley in Sampyeongdong in Songnam-si, Gyeonggi-do, known as Korea's Silicon Valley. This commercial district where major domestic IT companies are gathered is popular among young office workers who are familiar with digital retail, making this place the best test bed to aim at opening 100 Beatbox branches by the end of the year in Korea. The food tech based retail autonomous operating platform Beatbox is made up of Beat 3X, which is a more advanced third generation robot cafe, Beat to Go smart shelf that requires no checkout, and a merchandising space that connects your phone with the neighbor smart store using a QR code. Beatbox is said to be able to efficiently manage and control stores without resident personnel, someone working there, and AI predicts sales demand on its own through a deep learning process and automatically counts inventory in stores and places orders on items that have run out. Now let's move on to the launching of the 17th K startup mentoring program from the Korea Entrepreneurship Foundation. On May 12th, the Korea Entrepreneurship Foundation held the kickoff ceremony for the Alliance of Mentors and Mentees for the 17th K Global Entrepreneurship Mentoring Program 2021. The K Startup Mentoring was conducted in a non-face-to-face -face manner for 175 target companies and 30 dedicated mentors. In the 17th K Startup Mentoring course, the mentee will be matched with a mentor who has expertise in the field and will receive mentoring support for eight months from the CEO mentor based on the measurement of the maturity of the startup and the mentoring performance plan. Mentoring companies will be able to receive advice on how to solve problems regarding technical and management difficulties from their dedicated mentors. It is a program for fostering companies to help strengthen investment capabilities and search for sales channels. It runs various hands-on programs like business networking among companies, investment counseling, and demo days. For companies that wish to enter the overseas market, it even provides networking opportunities with global companies. I'm Alex from Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly Briefing. See you again next week.